Alright folks, welcome back to Karak Aberron's Gaming. We're back in Valheim and today we have another seed video for you. Of course the seed has a maypole. And I'm on an ocean, so guess what? It's right by an ocean. <laughs> if you're new to the channel or you're a frequent flyer here, so you know, most of the Valheim content that I put out is seed discovery videos where I look specifically for maypoles. Um, maypoles are not required to play Valheim at all. Maypoles confer to you a plus one comfort bonus, which helps with your rested buff. Um, the rested buff is very powerful. However, you do not have to have a maypole to get the rested buff, and you do not need the plus one comfort from the maypole to get a potent rested buff. There are many other things that help with that. So, at any rate, um, I like to find seeds that have good starter locations, that have maypoles that you can build around. Now, if you go into cheat mode, you can build a maypole whenever you want. But I think it's kind of cool that you find a maypole out in the world, you build around it, and you just... Uh, Play your game from there. Um, maypoles are one of the few things in Valheim that are unique to individual seeds. Not every seed has a maypole. So that's why I do this content. And it seems to be pretty popular. People like it. So good for everybody. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share the video. All that stuff really helps the channel out. And I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. So, where are we? We are here. Now, you can see there's a trader right here. Um, that's one of the traders that is close by. However, that's on a, its own little island. And we'll look at the Valheim seed map generator in a minute. Um, but it's a direct sail. Um, you can sail right to it. And that is a unique location in and of itself. But we're not going to review that today. So, there's some mountains right here, okay? You, you can go around the mountain this way, and you'll see on the map, uh, map generator, how this actually flushes out. So this maypole is right on the water, right on the same starter island as the seed, as the, um, as the spawn. So here's the maypole. Not a horrible location. Um, you've got a little pond right here. Uh, those rocks make it prohibitive for a port. Um, unless you were really industrious and you wanted to clear those rocks out, maybe one of them and make your port here. And, you know, you just pull up and here's the entrance to your home right here. I could see someone doing that. Um, it would require a lot of work uh, digging this stuff out, but it's definitely doable. Now this over here is wide open to the water. Okay, and you've got a couple of... This is very clearable space right here. This is a raised area where you can put... Um, a little, you know, little base, and you've got five outbuildings here, which is decent for a starter village. Only one boar, so um, that's an issue. Usually, you want to see two or three boars running around these starter villages, so you can at least get them enclosed in and get your boar farming ready. Um, I only see one here, um, and there's the mountain biome up there. So overall, this is a decent location for a maypole. You're right on the water. Um, is it as close to the water as, as I would like? No, if the maypole were right here, that, that would be my perfect location. So I would just build a small little house with the maypole and then a, you know, a little um, dock right here. And then, boom, I'd probably, I'd probably cut a line all the way through, <laughs> make a trench. any rate, I think this is a decent location, not just because this is a maypole on the water. But there's other amenities on this starter island, which is good. You're going to have a couple of bosses here. The other bosses are not super close, but they're not super far away either. It's definitely manageable. So let's take a look at the seed. So here is the seed itself. Now here's that maypole. Okay. So like I said, you can go up and around this mountain biome and get to it. The good news is, is you've got... You've got a swamp, you've got mountain, you've got dark forest, and you've got meadows here. So you've got, you know, four four biomes on the starter island, which is good for resources, etc. 
Let's take a look at the bosses. Not bad. You've got Elder on the same island that you're on. You've got Ichthyr here. Now, Bone Mass is over here. That's fine. And then there's a Bone Mass here. Scroll up a little bit. And here's Motor and Yakloth. Now, these are not ideal locations, right? You'd, uh, it would be better if they were down around here. But it's a clear sail up here. I don't think that's horrible. In addition to that, this Motor is open to some... Um, uh, what's this? I, I can't remember the mists, the mist lands, right? So you're going to have access to the new region right here once it opens up. Um, again, this is not the perfect scenario for bosses, but it's not horrific either. Um, you've got a bone mass down here, and obviously, you know, you've got a Yakleth here and Elder here. I mean, they're, they're spread out. You're going to have to get in a boat and travel. I mean, this is Valheim. What do you expect? Uh, overall, I'd say the boss disbursement is mediocre. It's nice that you've got an elder right here, though. That's cool. Um, and this bone mass shouldn't be too hard to get to. The motor and the Yagloth, eh, okay. So, trader. Now, here's the good news. is There's that trader that we saw um, when we were back in game. There is a trader down here, okay, which is right on your starter island. So this particular trader is on its own little island. Um, that's neat, uh, you know, if you want to, uh, again, it really depends on your particular gameplay. If you want to, um, make a base around the trader, that's cool. I know that some co-op plays do that because they, you know, they, they play a modded trader, which has a lot more amenities. So, but just in a straight playthrough, I mean, the trader has one or two items that you're going to need. You're not going to really be visiting them that much, um. For now, I mean, maybe they'll update the trader in the future, I don't know. But anyways, it's nice to have one on your starter island. So there's that. Um, let's take a look at the Leviathans real quick. Now, the Leviathans are decent. Your Maypole is here. I'm assuming that's where you're going to build your base. You sail out of here, and you've got four Leviathans right around this little trader, which is good. I'm in a fifth one over here a little bit. Um, that'll be enough to get you your chitlin. You're going to have to come over here to get to this bone mass anyways. Um, I can see you maybe, um, setting up a little port right here. And then just getting over here, finding a place to set up a portal. Um, now this bone mass is interesting because there's a little bit of planes right there. A couple of deskitos could really be a real pain in the neck. Um, at any rate, uh, the leviathans are decent, um. You know, you should be able to get enough chitlin to get your harpoon and your, your razor knife. No problem. Uh, let's look at the troll caves real quickly. So, I like troll caves because they're very easy to set up portals. That's one of the reasons why on the map I flew over to check out this trader. Because there was a troll cave right here. Um, once you sail over there or fly over there, if you go into cheat mode like I did... You clear this troll cave if you so choose, but the entrance for troll caves are great. You can, you know, um, it's a real cheap and easy camp. You just put a portal in there, you can put a bed if you want, and boom, you've got access to this trader. I mean, this one you can just run down to, right? But there's no easy, I mean, there's, there's a couple of troll caves here. But this is on its own little island. You could farm the heck out of that island. Now, why that's significant is, if we look at tombs and crypts. There's a couple of tombs and crypts on this island. Now there's plenty down here. Lots of them. This is a very, very good dark forest biome. Okay. Uh, I imagine there's a whole bunch of resources around the coast as well. That's fantastic. You've got some sunken crypts on your starter island as well that you can run to. This is a great dark forest. Um, you're going to be able to get all of your materials that you need out of the crypts from here. You should be, get plenty of certainly cores, plenty of rubies, pearls, gold, etc. Plenty of bones, etc. You should have no problem. However, um, it's nice to have the troll cave up here. You've got these two, two crypts that are going to be very easy to find. This is a small island. And usually around crypts, there you're going to find a copper deposit. So I think that this little island 
this is why I would pick this trader. I would definitely get over here, get my portal set up, and then just farm this particular place for resources, and then it's an easy transport back. Because you can run, st running stuff is okay. Um, it depends on how far away you are, right? This trader isn't that far, but you know, you've got to run all the way back and then all the way down. I'd rather just jump on a boat. The boat gives me, an early boat gives me another four slots that I can fill with inventory. Um, if you could drag a cart down here, and you start farming this area, I mean, I, I don't know. I always, I, I never have great success with carts. But anyways, I'm going on here. Um, that's where the Dark Forest crypts are. Um, how about sunken crypts? You've got a few down here. It's okay. This bone mass is full of them, which is great. But again, right in the middle is this little plains biome. And again, if there's a freaking Dasquito or two in there, you're screwed. Over here is a huge, huge um, sunken crypt slash swamp biome. And another one right here. So, again, you're going to have to get on a boat. It's not horrible. Um, you got another trader down here if you chose this location. Um, you've got plenty around you. You've got plenty of crypts. You should have no problem getting all the resources that you need. This bone mass down here is also attractive. I wouldn't rule this one out either. Um, you know, I, I was focused on this one because it's close to this elder here, but and I think you're going to have to go north anyways to get to Yegloth and Motor. Um, but this one isn't horrible either. So you got that. Troll caves, we did. Frost caves. You don't have any on your starter island, which is unfortunate. Um, you've got plenty down here at this motor couple up here, three up here in this motor. This is a nice little um, six right here. That's nice. You can farm that up pretty nicely. Um, and plus, you've, you know, it's close to this bone mass. Um, that would probably be the location I'd focus on because I'd also want to have access later on. I want to make sure that when I'm building my seeds or building my bases now, I have to really think about, okay, well, where is the mist lands going to be? right and you know, in here they are now obviously when miss lands come out a lot of the maps going to change but still uh, that's definitely a consideration beehives plenty there's plenty on your starter island you should have no problem getting bees getting plenty of honey for your early game and mid game needs dragon eggs um again this location up here with the um Frost Caves. This is great. You're going to be able to get everything here, but you want those around Motor, and again, there's plenty of Dragon Eggs around Motor, and they're all very close. Um, this is actually a very good Motor location for that reason, because the Dragon Eggs are that close. You're not going to have to drag them all over. However, you're going to have to get through the plains to get here, and that's a pain in the ass, because um, one or two Death Skeetos, and, you know, it unless you're geared for it, but by the time you're getting into the mountains... See, for me, the way I play, um, I'm not a big fan of the swamps. I don't like it. It's too dark. Um, I get through the swamps as, not as quickly as I can, but fairly quickly, and I spend... I focus a lot on the mountain biome so I can, you know, get that silver, get that wolf armor. That's where I focus my energy. So that's what I call the mid-game, you know, um, swamps to mountains. Uh, if you go into the mountains, though, with just starting off with just some, you know, maybe some iron armor, if you spend some time, if you if you catch a Deskito on the edge here, they're going to wreck you. Anyways, um, I'm sure you know that. If you've played Valheim enough, you know. Death is part of the game. <laughs> what else can I show you here? Um, useful rooms don't really have many around your maypole. Um, again, boars may be an issue. There's plenty here. You can go farming those if you want. Uh, I'm hopeful that um, you can find another boar around the woods somewhere around here, this maypole, and use the one that's on the village. Maybe start a boar farm, but that's definitely an issue for this seed. Um, let's see. Um, totems... 
not great. I mean, you got a couple here, a couple by the Eglof. This one right here might be easy to grab. Um, and then there's a couple on these small islands to the north. Um, those might be easier. I find that having a boat to uh, flee is nice. And then, you know, having maybe a base up here, like in this, this green mountain. I mean, this out of dark forest. Let's see if there's a troll cave up there. That might be a decent place to... Yeah, okay. Um, I could see you maybe setting up a troll cave portal here. Um, you know, you boat up there. And then you come down here, grab your Yagloth. Do these, do this one, this one. Uh, again, this is by no means the perfect seed, but it's not horrible. It's definitely worthy of a video, in my opinion, because you've got the trader on your starter island, you've got two bosses on your starter island, and the other bosses are decent. Um, I think this would be a fairly good seed for a new player. I think it's 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 a moderately challenging seed, meaning you've got to do a little bit of everything here. But the early stages of the game, um, meadows and dark forest, should be pretty straightforward. You've got plenty of crypts on your starter island. You've got elder on your starter island. Um, for any new player who's coming into Valheim, this would be a really good seed to start on. You've got the trader right there, and then you get in the boat and you go experience that part of the game as well. For experienced players who are looking for a cool seed to play on, I, I don't know that this would be the one for you. Um, this might be a decent seed to do a modded play because you've got that trader on a small island. I know some people like to build um, big hubs around the trader. Um, you know, I've seen a couple of videos where people have a trader base right by the trader. They've got their portal hub there, and that's cool. This, this seed might be good for that. But overall, I think this is a good um, starter seed for a first-time player or maybe someone who, you know, played a little bit, didn't really get acclimated to the entire game and just wants a good seed to start with, to start over. This seed is for them. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments below. I really appreciate you coming by and taking your time to watch my content. Thank you. And we will talk to you again soon.